Konnichiwa minasan. Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Sailor Snubs. This is my Sailor Moon news, reviews, and merch tutorials channel where you can find out everything you need to know about collecting Sailor Moon merchandise and the fandom and the community. If you are new here, welcome. I know I have a lot of new subscribers. It's so good to see you. Today I have a huge unboxing of items that I have purchased from Japan. Now none of the items in today's unboxing include items that I just picked up from Japan. I did just do a trip out to Osaka to visit the Sailor Moon Museum. That is going to be a separate video, but today I have a big unboxing of items that I have gotten shipped here to America. If you have questions about how to order any of these items, feel free to comment down below, and I also help people out with purchasing items over on my Instagram. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox some Sailor Moon merchandise. Now, I have never been a collector that keeps items in the box, and these are blind bags, so of course we're going to unbox these. These blind bags showed up at the Sailor Moon store and they are an exclusive to the Sailor Moon store. There are 10 in total. I'm only missing one. I'm missing the Luna one and this is the packaging that they came in. There's no really good way to tell which one they are before you purchase them. You just have to guess. I find these embroidery pins or can badges to be really really pretty and quite lovely material. They look very stunning. I love that they aren't a shiny acrylic or anything. They are a very matte colors so these would look really good on like a jean jacket for example. So I have each of the inner Sailor Senshi's transformation pens. I also got the Sailor Moon items including the moon stick, her transformation brooch, her tiara, and of course we have her transformation pen. And even though I'm missing Luna I did get tuxedo mask and I love that his has his mask as well as his rose. Very pretty. So I am still on the hunt for the Luna one so that I can complete my full set and once I find that one I'll definitely share it with you. Okay, what do we have here? So here are a couple more Sailor Moon store exclusive blind bags. These are specifically for Sailor Moon Cosmos, the newest movie. In these bags, we had an assortment of can badges, which feature the characters from the newest movie, as well as some really cute acrylic stands, which you can use in your collection. So this was my assortment. I was able to get a whole bunch of different characters. I love that I got each of the different styles for Sailor Starfighter. I feel like these would be so hard to get. So really cool that I have all three of the different versions of her. Here we have Sailor Star Maker and Chibi Chibi Moon. I love the little bit of holographic detail behind them. And for the acrylic stands, of course I got Sailor Cosmos. That's my favorite one and the one I was vying for. I also got Sailor Chibi Chibi Moon. Galaxia, she looks amazing, Sailor Galaxia. And I also got this assortment of the Starlights. So I got these two in their group performing outfits. I got Kakyu, two versions of Sailor Star Heal. She's my favorite. And I got, of course, Sailor Star Maker in her school uniform. Blind bags for can badges and acrylic stands are really fun, but you always run the risk of getting a bunch of duplicates. So anytime I get duplicates, I always put those up for sale over on my Instagram. I ordered more of these little Emma boards featuring Sailor Mars or Ray because I was missing a couple of them. So I believe I've already shown you most of these, but these are the rest of them. So this is the blind one. That was the surprise piece. Very cute. I also got this one of her blushing. She looks so adorable. Love the shrine maiden outfit. Saying hello, I think. <laughs> this one with one of her crows. We got her in her broom stick, of course, taking care of the shrine. This one where she's praying. And of course, this one with her eyes closed. I think this is the one that I was missing. This is a really cute gift that I received from a fellow collector. This is made out of a like a silk material and it's a little keychain. It was an Ichiban Kuji. I have the matching handkerchief that goes with this collection, but I didn't have this keychain. So I'm really happy to I uh, have this in my collection now, and thank you to the fellow collector who sent me this gift. This is Usagi's room, and it is a cute little model or diorama of Usagi's room. Now, I didn't purchase this originally when it first came out. Kind of regretted it because it sold out so fast, and now it's super rare. So I was really happy that they had one available. So while this is 
used. It's considered used condition. It did come with everything in the box and it looks new in box. The box has a little bit of damage to it, which is fine because I fully intend to take this out and put it up in my collection room. So I'll show you the pieces, but I'm going to put this together later and show you what it looks like afterwards. Here we have Usagi and this is a cute little poseable Usagi in her PJs. And then we have a whole bunch of different little items for her room that you can put together. So this is entire collection includes a whole bunch of little items for her room. All of these pieces are made out of plastic. There's a little transformation brooch, little Luna, so cute, little bunny. These are just adorable. I love that it includes all these little pieces. I feel like if I was a little girl and got this for like my birthday or Christmas or something, I would freak out. So this piece includes directions as well as the backdrop and the final pieces. I've shown you some Q-Pot items before. This item I had to purchase on a pre-order because it sold out pretty quickly. Glad I did though, because it's really pretty in person. Q-Pot does a lot of collaboration items with Sailor Moon with this newest one being a pretty small collaboration, but it was still worth it to check out. I believe I only ordered a couple of pieces from this newest collab with Coupot, but I'm glad I did. So here's the item that I had to pre-order, and this is a very cute ring featuring Sailor Saturn's colors and a little heart with a star in the middle that features Sailor Saturn's planetary sign. Now I think this, yeah, this ring is much too small for my hand, which I knew going into it because of Japanese ring sizes, but I wanted to purchase this and put it on display in my collection room. It's a pretty heavy piece, as most Q-Pot items are. This is the newest magazine we've received from the Japanese Pretty Guardian fan club, and this is, it comes out maybe quarterly. There's not a lot of them. We're up to 30 in this fan club has been around for several years at this point. This always features new and updated materials and information about what's going on in the Sailor Moon fandom. So I really like having copies of these newspapers or these news magazines. I think they're really cute and I love showing them to you as well. This acrylic stand was so hard to get. I don't know why it sold out so fast. I'm going to assume it's because this is brand new art from Naoko Takeuchi and it's also very much featured at the Sailor Moon Museum currently at this time of recording, which is in 2024. These beautiful new acrylic stands feature this really gorgeous, like holographic acrylic material. It's like an Aurora style holographic material. And then you have this traditional manga art of Black Lady or Wicked Lady as we know her here in America. I did order an extra one of these online when I saw them come back in stock because they were so hard to get. And I think I'm gonna keep one in its packaging and then display another on my Black Lady display case, which I have yet to show you. I love my new Black Lady display area. It is so freaking cool. I am officially a plushie collector now and I have a whole bunch of plushies. I have an entire like mountain of plushies in my collection room. I have yet to show you. So excited to show you my Sailor Moon room tour. It's awesome. I love my new room. These two cuties are from the Sanrio collection. Both of these were also pretty hard to get at a decent price. There were a lot of resellers reselling these at like top dollar. So I was really happy to find these for a decent price after they had come out. Here we have Sailor Moon with a cute little plushie in her hands. And of course she is detailed just like the Sanrio characters. One little thing I wanted to point out with her is that her wings are this really pretty shiny, almost like rainbowy color fabric. They're very, very pretty. And she has a lot of detail going into her. She looks really, really cute. I just love how big she is and how she has that little Luna plushie. She looks just like all of us other collectors, doesn't she? <laughs> then we have Hello Kitty and she has a very, very similar look to her outfit, including the little Luna plushie. And she also has those really pretty iridescent wings. I love her wings. They're so cute. There were a bunch of other characters that came out in this collection, but I just wanted the two two main ones, Hello Kitty and Sailor Moon, 
This is the Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Cosmos Sanrio characters. And this is what the tag looks like. One of the reasons why they're so expensive to find now is because the original price was really expensive with tax, 71.50 yen. That's pretty pricey, even with the current exchange rate. The Sailor Moon store often comes out with special limited edition Luna plushies, and this is one of them. Uh, I do have a couple of these in my collection from the Sailor Moon store currently, and this is the newest one with an updated ribbon on her she has the blue eyes and she's very very cute and here is the tag for the cosmos version from the sailor moon store this cute little luna plushie this plushie i had to find from a reseller because for some reason it did not come out on the normal like bandai namco website for some reason it was sold out for like ever so this luna plushie it's actually a key holder so you can put this on your bag like a bag clip it comes with this really cute ribbon with a little purple gemstone a little heart shaped gemstone and then we have this cosmos most version with blue eyes of Luna. It's a really nice plushie. It's super, super soft. And this goes along in the same collection as a Sailor Moon keychain, the Starlights, and I think I also have a Chibi Chibi Moon from this collection. Don't quote me. I'll have to check my current collection of these little bag charms. A couple more little plushies. I might have shown you one of these already, but this is a super soft key holder of Sailor Moon's bedspread bunny. Very cute. I also have the gigantic version of this, and it was so expensive. So I'm really happy to have the smaller version too and here we have a very cute little magnetic so cute you can put this on like cables and stuff a little magnetic plushie of luna there's also a artemis and diana version of these too and i do have both of those as well this luna plushie ball is so cool it feels almost like it's memory foam which is so fascinating because it squishes down to a really small space i know because i got a second one when I went to Japan recently and I was able to like squish that thing down really far in order to pack it into my suitcase. We don't have a lot of merch of Luna P, so I saw this immediately and I thought I need to get it. It's sold out really fast online and now they're pretty hard to find unless you find one in person. This is the tag for the Luna P. Of course, it's a Sailor Moon store merchandise item. Another really soft material item, but I thought this would look really, really good with my plushy collection. She's so cute. Now we need like an evil version with the upside down moon. This shirt is from the Sailor Moon store and I got, what size did I get? I got this in a medium. Uh, keep in mind Japanese sizes when it comes to clothing might be a little bit different than what you're used to. So I always try to make sure I have correct measurements before I order anything online, or I try to just get it in person if I plan to go to Tokyo anytime soon. So this is from a recent release on the Sailor Moon store website. This features, of course, we have the Moon Kingdom on the front of it in a beautiful crescent moon. I really like the color and I like the fabric of this. It's like a shiny, like a synthetic fiber. Definitely not cotton. We have this cute little keyhole accent on the back. This does not come undone, it's not buttoned. There's quite a bit of stretch with this fabric though. And the bottom of the shirt features a cute little gemstone in the middle of the transformation brooch. And it says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon. I also picked up this really nice big tote bag and I love the size of this thing. I love that it is zippered, so I just had to get it. It also includes a couple of front pockets on here. There's a few gemstones in this little transformation brooch on the front. And we also have some gemstones accented in the bottom corner. This says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon and there's nothing on the back. Try not to burn this in my candle. So here you can see the really pretty gemstone accents. I love that they included that little accent because usually these items don't have little accents like that. So having a little feature is cute. The interior lining is also very pretty. So this can be used like as a gym bag, which I think is really cool. There's a zippered container pocket in the back where you could put things like your keys, for example, or any important materials. A nice big open area for anything that you wanna put here. And there's also this padded section here that's sewn onto the siding. And this goes all the way through. So it's open on the bottom. I think this would be perfect for like your hydro flask or I don't know, your Stanley tumbler if it would fit in there. This will fit my hydro flask though perfectly. So I think this is great to keep it upright whenever you're walking around or traveling. Generally a really good tote bag and the interior little feature for your tumbler was something that they did not advertise very well. So I was really happy to see that. One thing I love to collect from the Q-Pot collaborations 
are these beautiful tote bags. So this one is actually like a drawstring tote bag and I'll show you that feature in a second, but I love this artwork on the front of it. We have Usagi with Mamoru and Chibiusa. Of course it says Q-Pot for the collaboration down at the bottom. And the back of it has these drawstrings right here that you can cinch together. Little Luna, Artemis, and Diana, they're so cute. This tote bag is from the Three Coins collaboration. Three Coins is like a Dollar Tree in Japan. Very, very inexpensive items that you can get there. Not everything is gonna be a dollar, obviously. It's gonna range depending on how big or how fancy the item is, but this was one of the really nice items that they were selling. It's a canvas tote bag. I really like this tote bag. I think it's quite simple and quite pretty, and it's also fairly large, so I appreciate the size. Definitely something that I could use. And if you haven't seen the movie, I apologize for the spoilers. <laughs> this was a blanket that I had purchased online. Really, really love the artwork here. This is from an Ichiban Kuji collection, so this was a prize item, a lottery prize coming through that Ichiban Kuji. This was prize number B for this Eternal collection. Haven't taken this out yet, but I really like the artwork for this collection. And it looks like, even though this is printed on fabric, it looks like the art is done really well and it's nice and clear. So with that Q-Pot collaboration, I also really love this adorable acrylic stand of the little moon family. It's so cute. I'll show you this out of the box, but I do think that it's really pretty how they put this together. It's very romantic, very valuable. Valentine's Day, and I really like the color scheme. This is a freebie gift box. It's just a simple cardboard gift box that was given out if you purchased a specific amount from the Q-Pot collaboration. And here we have the only other item that I got from the Q-Pot collaboration this year. I always collect the necklaces. I really love them. I think all of the necklaces look beautiful from these collabs. This features the Eternal Moon article, but it looks like a little cookie or a little cupcake item. You can see Eternal Sailor Moon there in the center with a bunch of cute little pearl vibes and some pearlescent enamel in this necklace. It's not as heavy as a lot of their older ones. The chain for this is really pretty too. I love the little stars. This is a very cute piece. It's something that I could definitely wear. I appreciate that it's lighter than a lot of the macaroon style collaboration necklaces that we get from Q-Pot. So this one will definitely be a piece that I could wear like if I'm going to a the Sailor Moon store or another museum in the future. Which who knows, maybe we will get another museum in the future. I think that would be amazing if we did. So that's gonna be everything from today's video. Video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I do have a part two for this unboxing of all sorts of Japanese Sailor Moon merchandise, so make sure to subscribe if you aren't already. Comment down below, let me know if you have any questions about the items that I showed you today. And if you just want some general information about Sailor Moon or some tutorials, you can always comment below and ask me about those too. I'm more than happy to make videos about whatever y'all need. Stick around for my Japan vlogs. I have some of those coming as well as tutorials, talking about the new museum, the Sailor Moon store and the manhole covers, which are now found in Tokyo. I found all of them when I went out there to visit. And I hope to see you in our little community here. We're super friendly and super nice, and I'm more than happy to have you join me. Thanks for watching. Jane.